In today's video, I'll teach you everything you need to know about exporting files in Procreate. You'll know how to choose the right file type, you'll know the quickest way to save files from the gallery, and I'll even teach you a few other tricks about how to save files with a transparent background and also how to save files as a different size. If you're interested, please keep on watching. Hello and welcome to Color with Kendi. Today's video is meant to be a follow along style video. We'll be going through everything step by step. So I suggest you grab your iPad and your pencil and let's get into it. So to follow along, pick any illustration that you've made, doesn't matter what it is, and I'll show you how you can save it. And I'll show you a couple tricks. So the first thing we're going to talk about is choosing the right file type. So let's say this is an illustration that I've completed and I'm ready to save it. All you have to do is tap on the wrench icon to open up the actions menu. And then you'll have a few options up here. Make sure that you've tapped on share. And then you'll have all these different options to share the image. Let me quickly walk you through what all these options mean. So if you wanna share the image as a Procreate file, so let's say you want to share it with someone else who has Procreate and you want to make sure that all of the layers are saved as is, then the best thing you can do is save it as a Procreate file and then share it with your friend as a Procreate file. The next option is PSD. So PSD will save it as a Photoshop file. So if you save it as a PSD, you can open up your file in Photoshop and all of the layers will be intact. Then we have PDF. If you want to save your image as a PDF file and provide it as a PDF, this is the option that I would select. And when you tap on PDF, you have a few options. You can choose good, better, or best. I typically choose best because you get the highest quality, but do remember that the file size will be bigger. Then the next option is JPEG. This is by far the most common thing that I save my images as. This is great for web quality images. Now, PNG is another option for saving your image if you want a higher quality than JPEG. So sometimes I do use the PNG option. And if you ever want to save an image with a transparent background, you'll want to select PNG. We'll talk about that later on in the video. And then the last option is TIFF. This is a really large file. It's very high quality, not something that I would typically use because it's quite large. And then you have the option to share layers. So let's say you wanted to share all of the layers individually. You could do that through here. This is not something that I would typically use. I'm not going to go through that in this video. So most often, if it's for the web, I will select JPEG. And if I want something that's a bit higher quality, I'll select PNG. So let me just walk you through how I would save it. So let's say I wanted to save as a PNG, tap on PNG. And now you have a few options. You can airdrop this to any of your devices. If you have another Apple device, you can save image. This will save it to your camera roll. But if you don't want to save it to your camera roll, you also have the option to save to files. This way you can select which folder on your iPad you want to save it to. And you can also save to Dropbox. I will typically just save image. So tap on save image. It will export it. So now that you've saved your image, all you have to do is go to your camera roll by tapping on the photos app and it will be right there. Now the other option was to save to file. So let me show you that too. So you go back to actions, I tap on PNG and then scroll and save to files. And here I can save it to my iCloud or I can save it on my iPad as well. You can create a new folder and you will be able to access the file in your folders menu. So I'm just going to save it on my iPad, tap on save, and then go to the folders menu and you'll be able to see on my iPad, it's right there. So that's the basics of how you can save an image in Procreate. So now let's talk a little bit about some tricks. So let's say you wanted to save a lot of files, not just one file. You can go to your gallery and there is a way to save files directly from the gallery. So let's say you wanted to save just one of them, swipe to the left and say share, and then you can select your image format here. But let's say you wanted to select more than one file. Just go to select and then tap on the different files that you want to save and then tap on share 
and then you can share them in any file format that you want and you'll be able to share multiple files at once. So this is really useful when you are saving multiple files. The next thing I think every beginner should know is how to save a file with a transparent background. So for example, I'm gonna click on this. This could be used as a sticker or as clip art, but not with the white background. I need the background to be transparent for this. So remember how I told you about PNG earlier on in the video? So PNG is a great way to save a file with a transparent background. But if I save this as a PNG right now, it will save with the white background. To get rid of the white background, just open up your layers menu. And then where it says background color, turn that off. Do you see what happened? I can see through to the back. Now we have a transparent background. Now if I save this image, go to Actions, Share, PNG, and what I'm going to do is save image. And now let's check. Let's go to our camera roll and let's open this up. Right now it still seems like it has a white background, but let's just tap on it and tap on it again. When I tap on it again, it actually removes that background. So it confirms that the file has been saved, the transparent background. So that's basically how you can save a PNG with a transparent background. The next thing I think every beginner should know is how to save things in a different file size. So for example, I have this image here. It's an eight by 10 inch canvas. Now let's say I wanted to make this a little bit smaller and save it. I can't do that directly from the actions menu, but I can do it if I crop and resize first and then save it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So in order to change the size, go to canvas and then tap on crop and resize. And here under settings, you can resize this. So there's a couple things to remember when you are resizing. If you want to resize your image and keep the dimensions the same, tap there to lock your dimensions, the ratio of your dimensions. And if you want your image to look exactly like it is, you don't want to crop out certain elements, then tap on resample canvas. So now what it will do is it will keep the entire image, but just shrink it all together. If I didn't tap on resample canvas, what would happen when I crop it is it would take parts of the image out. That's not what I want. I want it to resample the entire canvas, keep the entire image, but just shrink it. So I'm going to change it here. So I'm going to tap here and you can change it to millimeters, centimeters, inches, whatever you want. I'm just going to change it to let's say five and it will automatically change this number because I have locked the dimensions, the ratio. And then just tap on done and it will resize the canvas for you. And then you can tap on actions, share, and then save the image. So I could tap on JPEG and save it. So this is how you can save an image with different dimensions. Now it has changed the original image. So if I go back, now what this has done is it's changed the original. If you don't want that to happen, you don't want to crop your original, it's always a good idea to swipe to the left and duplicate your file and then crop it and save it. I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if you have any questions that I did not answer in this video, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a second video on this topic. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.